Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 15 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to give you some ideas on how you could deal with hot spots on your model skin. Now, when I say hot spots, I'm talking about something like this. This is an image that I downloaded from DollarPhotoClub.com. And as you can see, there's just this tiny little hot spot from the photographer's lights. Now, where you might run into this more often is on a warm day and your model is perspiring slightly and you'll get kind of a shiny sheen on your model skin. I've seen this a lot when I was doing wedding photography, very hot summer day and often there'd be hot spots, sweaty little shiny spots on the bride's face, on the um, groom's face. And what precipitated me doing this video was some time ago I had a student ask me if she had uh, if I had a way she could deal with this because she took a bunch of images of people on a relatively hot day and there was a lot of hot spots and a lot of shiny spots on people's skin and I very stupidly told her that no there's no effective way to deal with that in Lightroom well recently I saw Scott Kelby who's a great great teacher uh, give a demonstration on how to get rid of these hot spots and I felt really dumb when I saw what he did because it's so simple I should have known how to do it so I'm gonna share it with you so we're gonna get rid of this hot spot right here now we're gonna use the spot healing tool and we're gonna put it in heal mode so make sure you're in heal mode and have the feathering relatively high. I have mine set at 80 so have it somewhere around there. Of course you're going to change that depending on your model and on the size of the spot but you could experiment a little and get a brush that's going to be big enough to effectively paint over the hot spot. I'm going to make this one a little bigger by hitting the right bracket key on my keyboard. You could hit the left bracket key to make it smaller. If you have a center wheel in your mouse you could use the center wheel of your mouse to adjust the brush size and we're going to paint over this hot spot. Now you can see Lightroom automatically picked a replacement up above and you can see it's not very good as you can see there's it's kind of blotchy right there and you could try moving it around and and maybe you could find somewhere that's better and blends in better but usually it's it's a challenge to find some way to blend that in better well, where I was really dumb, I forgot about the opacity slider that is now available in Lightroom 5. And what you could do is just pull the opacity down until it blends in nicely with the rest of the image. And you can see it really did a nice job right there. Now, some spots are going to be more challenging than others. I think doing the model's nose right here would be a larger or a greater challenge. So. I could just start painting right now but to show the effect I want to turn opacity back up and I want to get a new brush so I'm going to close the brush and reopen it and that's just going to give me a new brush and I'm going to turn opacity up now I could have just started painting and it would have gave me a new brush but I wanted to turn opacity back up and I didn't want it to affect the spot I already drew so I'm going to make a smaller brush by hitting the left bracket key and then I'm going to just paint over this hot spot. Now you could see that Lightroom chose a place way over here which is absolutely horrid so we're gonna try maybe more over in here somewhere and you could see how bad that looks. Well let's turn the opacity slider down until it starts to blend in. Now it's getting a little bit of that sheen but that's okay it adds a little bit of tone and structure to the model's face we just don't want it overbearing and I think that's pretty good right there. Of course you could go back and try to move you know this around to another area to see if you could um, improve it and then adjust the opacity slider some more. I kinda liked it over here best I think. And something like that I guess. So there is before, there's after. Before after. So that's the way you would tone down this uh, kind of highlight areas on your model's face whether it's a sweaty sheen or it's just your lights giving a little bit of a hot spot on your model's skin. So I hope that helps you guys especially you wedding photographers I think that will come in handy. Alright I'd like to thank 
everyone that watches my videos I really appreciate it thank you very much If you guys could do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel I'd really appreciate that alright I'll talk to you guys soon